watching Own Your Power TV, the show that helps you live the life that you deserve. I'm Coach Simone Kelly, and today we're talking about deal breakers. We're here at Studio 510 in Fort Lauderdale, and I have the twin love coaches, Gladys Diaz and Michelle Rosa. And we're gonna get into a little bit of what are the red flags that you need to watch out for when you're dating. Get ready, guys. It's gonna be a good show. You really wanna know what the deal breaker was? The deal break was when you showed me three simple signs that was not for me. Cheap, stingy, and selfish. Example, we go to the restaurant, you get the check. You go through every item, select what I ordered, add up the tip, add up the tax, and tell me how much I owe. Oh no, sir. <laughs> oh my God. We have Yo, to put it on Instagram. What? Hopping up on me at the club? Deal breaker. Addicted to drugs, alcohol, or gambling? Deal breaker. You're texting me and texting me and texting me. When are you gonna pick up the phone? What are you, 16 years old? Deal breaker. If you're too scared to show affection in public with me, and you don't wanna hold my hand because you're too gangster to give me a kiss in public, deal breaker. When you're with a girl for the first time and she pulls off her shoe and that big toe be pointing that way, Deal breaker. Then you're stingy. I ran out of gas. I said, babe, I need gas money. You know what you tell me? Baby, I'll go ahead and I'll drive you where you gotta go. You just catch the bus back. The little gray tooth in your mouth. Take care of your dental. Deal breaker. You text on my phone, you keep calling me, you're asking my mom where I am. You're emailing me, hit me up on Instagram, and we only went on one date? Deal breaker. If you have bad oral hygiene and your breath smells like hot garbage, deal breaker. Listen, so you live in Peru, I live in Miami. This is not gonna work. The Skype is not good enough for me. So, deal breaker. Can't control your anger, and you're gonna put your hands on me? Deal breaker. All right, when a girl comes to my house at 3 a.m. in the morning, and you don't wanna have sex? Deal breaker. Last but not least, so fish in that bedroom. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Time and time again. Done. Deal breakers. So I'm here with the twin love coaches. What do you guys come across the most as far as the red flags that your clients don't see right off the bat? Well, a lot of times as women, we think that our intuition is broken. But there are a lot of red flags that we're ignoring because we want to be the one to change the man and make him into a good man. Like for instance, like for instance, one of the red flags that you don't want to ignore is a man who is actively addicted to drugs or alcohol or gambling. A man who's addicted to those things, you're not going to be safe with him emotionally. And that will always be his first love. So he's always going to choose that over you. Right. And so that it's just better to not ignore that and walk away from that and go look for a man who's healthy and can create a healthy relationship. With you. Right. But what about situations where the guy says, oh, I'm going to change, baby. I'm going to get make it better. I'm going to go into rehab. Like, would the woman, you know, kind of like work with him on that? Or no? You're okay. saying just give it up? You always want to own your own power. Mm -hmm. So if you choose, <laughs> if you choose to stay with a man, who has said that, then you've got to know what your boundaries are. Right. And actions speak louder than words. I'm going mm -hmm. to go to rehab is not the same thing as I'm in a meeting. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm taking care of my business. You don't become his personal reminder. Okay. You don't become his answering service. He's either going to his means or he's not. Right. And you get to choose how long you're willing to tolerate if, if he's not. Right. And it's funny, what I've come across, there's a lot of women out there that want to be like, I call them Susie Fagemore. But they want to take the puppy in and take him, make him better, patch him up, and they think it's like a project. Yeah. And honestly, men do this too. Men take the women in, you know, they come off the streets, the girls, you know, mm -hmm. trying to make the party girl into the housewife and it doesn't always work. So it's just get being real with yourself and knowing, okay, this is the person, this is, I, I like them for who they are, not their potential. Because exactly. I always say potential isn't enough at the end of the day. Absolutely right. A lot of times, in speaking to the clients that we, that we have worked with, when you're constantly trying to make a man better or work with men like you said with the potential mm -hmm. problems or mm -hmm. maybe he's not enough of this or too much of that right it really has to do with the woman and her self esteem right. because she's trying to prove something about herself to herself and to this man right so it's always focus on yourself what you want how you feel and you know they're two grown people 
so you can be partners and support each other in what's best for you, what's good for you, but you're not there to change somebody. It's never going to work when you're trying to be. Right, That's right. where the suffering comes from. The other thing I love is that when you start to really pay attention, they say you're marrying your, yourself sometimes, but look at the people that you're attracting because you might be attracting something that you actually do. Exactly. <laughs> and, and we don't want to admit it, but you know. And if you keep dating the same guy, he just looks different. Like right. he's got different hair. Right, right. Different age. <laughs> same but guy, the same guy, right. just insert him. Right. Um, you got to realize the common denominator in all of those relationships is you. So you want right. to know why am I attracting people that I have to constantly be trying to save. Right. Or fix. Or what is it about me? Like Michelle said, what am I trying to prove about my ability to do that for somebody? Right. Perhaps I just need to turn the mirror around. Right. And just work what on is me. it I'm trying to, that I don't accept enough about myself. Right. That I can start working on here so I can start attracting what I want instead of what I don't want. I love it. Well, ladies, I know you do a lot of events. You have an amazing blog. I want people to get in contact with you. So, you know, share your website address, phone number, all Absolutely. that good stuff. Absolutely. So, our website is Hearts Desire intl.com and for those of you who are looking to see you know what how can i fall more in love with me we have a brand new ebook if you go to our site again it's www.heartsdesireintl.com purchase and download the book 30 days and 30 ways to fall in love with you if you didn't have any deal breakers before we hope you pay attention to the red flags now next show is going to be a makeover show at natural trend center if you aren't a power player yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Own Your Power TV at YouTube. So it's youtube.com forward slash Own Your Power TV. Until next time, remember, anything you want is attainable. Own your power. Yeah. Get up out of bed, stop sleeping. See, it's your time. The world that you want in front of you. Just make up your mind.